and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be doing two more looks using the new Nomad New Zealand Stargazer palette. So this one right here. Once again, this is a 15 pen palette. There are nine mattes and then six super shiny multi-chromes. And oh my God, this, this entire color story is just so beautiful. Before we jump into putting together this look, I did want to do a quick comparison. One of you guys thought that this looked like it was duping the Royal Europe palette. I have that right here. I didn't do swatches or anything. We're not going to do swatch comparisons. Uh, that's a bit much, but I think you'll be able to tell just from looking at the, the color story whether or not they're similar to each other. So this is a New Zealand palette and then this is the Royal Europe. And as you can see, there are some similarities in some of the purples, but other than that, the palettes are very different. The multi-chromes are very different. So this one isn't necessarily a dupe for this one, but I'm sure they would make gorgeous companion palettes. So I did just kind of want to show that real quick, show the two palettes together since one of you guys did say that you thought that it looked similar, that this one looks similar to this one. But as you can see, they are very different. All right, let's go ahead and put together our first look look. I've already primed my eyelids using my Party Proof eyeshadow primer from Colourpop in Caramel. For this look, we're going to focus on this blue shade. That shade is called Takaro Stargazing or Takapo Stargazing. So this shade right here, this is going to go in the outer corner. And then I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Tonga Rio Night Hike. I'm going to use this one to blend out the blue. And then the shimmers that we are going to go for today, we're going to go for a jewel box right here. And then the bottom shade, which is called Aurora Australis. Now, I would like to be able to use like different shimmers in each look, but we have six. And I'm going to end up like mixing and matching and using some of the same ones, especially for like inner corner highlight, because these two shades are really the only ones that are light enough to go on the inner corner. So yeah, there are going to be similarities as far as these shimmers. Let's go ahead and lay down this blue. I'm going to use my favorite Beauty Bay Detail Crease Brush for that. We're just going to kind of tap into it. Get off the excess. I'm just going to tap this in the inner corner or inner outer corner rather and just start blending. Ooh, that is pigmented. I'm not getting a ton of fallout or anything. Let's just slowly start blending. I am currently in the middle of a wear test. I'm testing out that new foundation from AOA Studio that some of you guys said that you would like to see. That video should already be up by the time these two looks go up. So definitely be looking for or looking out for that one. I will have it linked down below in my description box if I was able to get the video up first, but it should be up first. It's a pretty quick video. So far, this rich blue is performing in the way that the purple did for the, the intro video that I did. Now I'm going to go into this shade using my Real Take Techniques Pointed Crease Brush. We're going to blend that into the crease and then I'm going to take a little bit more to blend it on the top. But first, we're just going to focus on the crease. Just want to kind of soften that blue and then just take it further into the crease area. That is blending out nicely as you can see. That shade has a bit of like a grayish purple to it. I think I used that in the very first look. The middle one I don't think I've used yet. I may use that in the second look for this video. I have also done a shorts video. So this technically is going to be look three and four. The second look is already up on my channel. I did that one as a short video. So technically this is look three and four. I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush. We're going to go back into that same shade and I'm just going to lightly blend along the top going into the brow bone just to kind of soften the edges just a bit. I don't like to have harsh lines when it comes to my shadow. Now to apply the shimmers, we're going to lay down my base booster, glitter base from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to use, what is this called? It's from Ruby Kisses, the small eyeshadow brush. This is one of the brushes that my family got me for Christmas. I have put on my Christmas list that I wanted some eyeshadow brushes and this is one of the ones that I got. They just picked this up from one of our local beauty supply stores. I'm going to lay this on the lid where I want my shadow to sit. Just kind of carving out that area a bit. I'm going to go right into Jewel Box using that same sticky side. Just kind of helps everything to adhere a little bit better. And I'm just going to start tapping it onto the lid. 
in the pan it looks like really really gold on the eyelid you have a gold to like green to coral shift oh my word it's so freaking pretty i'm just going back in with a little bit more of that first shade that deep blue just to blend it into the shimmer so that way you know we don't have like harsh lines going between the two now for our inner corner highlight i'm going to take this is from blend bunny number three number two it's just a very small little brush and we're going to go into this shade right here aurora australia's i believe that's how you say that and that's just going to be our inner corner highlight so i'm just going to dab just a little bit here that one has a really pretty like rich deep kind of lavendery purple to silver oh my word nomads multi-chromes are like really really pretty i don't use like a lot of multi-chromes but when i do oof these are just stunning I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of the look off camera. We're going to do liner, lashes, lips. I will return when I am complete. We are back and you guys, I am loving the way this look came out. You will definitely have to let me know down in the comments what you think. For my waterline, I'm using one of the liners from the Second Sailor Moon collection. This is the Pretty Guardians Crystal Tokyo. This is like a blue, but it also has kind of a gold shift to it. And you can actually see that in the waterline. I think it goes really, really well with this look. I'm loving it. For my wing, I'm using my NYX Epic Ink Liner in black. My lashes are once again from, hold on, Pro Beauty Essentials. These are the Noir 3D Faux Mink Lashes. I have been loving these lately. And my lips, they are a combination of the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. This is from the first Hocus Pocus collection. The shade is Spinsta Ladies. And then the overall lip color. This is from Kiko Milano. This is from that Wonder Woman collection. The Wonder Woman Metal Power Lasting Lip Paint in number five Rosetto. I just love the way this look came together. I had a lot of fun putting this look together. All right, so that is look number one. Let's move on to look number two welcome to look number two i've already primed my eyelids using my caramel uh party proof eyeshadow primer from ColourPop. so let's go ahead and jump into putting together this look today i think we're going to focus on doing something a little more smoky we're going to focus on this black the shade is called dark sky nation up here in the corner i'm going to lay that on the outer corner and then i'm going to blend it out with this shade right here which is the cosmos and then we're going to lay down i think this shade over the lid actually you know what i have done that shade this is the shade that we're gonna lay all over the lid this one i did for that look that i did on my short content that's on it's on instagram it's my youtube shorts it's also on my tiktok so we're gonna do this shade today because we have already focused on that one all right so let's go on ahead and lay down the black shade first i'm gonna go in a little bit lighter with this shade since it is a black shade i don't want to end up like a fallout all over my face i'm using my beauty bay brush here and we're just going to lightly tap on the outer corner. I do want to build this shade up a lot, though. I want that rich, deep black going on. So we're just going to keep building. So far, we're not getting a bunch of fallout, so that's good. I just want to kind of like tuck this into that crease area on the outer corner. Just right in there. I'm going to take a little bit of the Cosmos, which is that middle kind of smoky lavender, and we're just going to use that to start blending the black into the crease area. I'm also going to take a little bit of it just kind of above the black towards the brow bone, taking a little bit more of the Cosmos on this fluffy brush, and I just want to use that to just kind of blend the top, just to kind of diffuse it a little bit. I don't want to go like too heavy with that. I still want to keep a lot of the black concentrated on the outer corner. So we're just lightly, very ever so lightly blending that out. I'm going to lay a little bit more of the black on the outer corner, but I'm going to wait until I do the shimmer that I can just kind of blend them together and then you know, have a little bit more focus on the outer corner. All right, so let's lay down some of my base booster from BH Cosmetics. This is just my glitter and a shimmer glue works just like the one from NYX. It just kind of helps to intensify shimmery shadows. I'm going to lay that down using the flat angled side of my BH Cosmetics dual ended brush here. 
I'm just going to do one eye at a time. I've been doing like two eyes at a time and then noticing that the glue is drying on one side before I have a chance to do the other. So we're just going to focus on one side first with the shimmers and then I'll go back and do the other eye. So what have you guys been up to? Today is Saturday, so it's been a little more than a week since we've had like, you know, this snowstorm and like these frigid temperatures. I hadn't worked for like almost a week, so I decided yesterday I'm going to go ahead and go out for a little while and just see what it's like. I'm a rideshare driver, and as you know, if you're a rideshare driver, Uber, Lyft, when the weather's really bad, you just don't get to work. And like I said, I hadn't worked for like a week, and I have a bill due on Monday. I just need to make just enough to make sure that that bill got paid, and I did it within like four hours, so it was pretty quick. That shade right here is called Southern Cross. So I'm going to lay down on the lid. It's like a gold to pink. I mean, you see that? Oh my God, it is so freaking rich and gorgeous. I'm going to take that same sticky side and just lay that down on the lid. The main roads were pretty clear, although there were a few areas, you know, where there were some black eyes. So you always have to be careful about that. But the side roads and the neighborhoods were still pretty icy. So in some areas, it was pretty slow going, but I actually made it through the day. It wasn't terrible. I usually don't like to drive when the weather is like that, but like I said, I hadn't driven in almost a week, and I needed to make sure that I had one bill taken care of that was due on Monday, and we did it. So now we're spending the rest of the weekend filming videos and doing some more cleaning in the house before we get back to, you know, full time starting on Monday. This shade is so freaking gorgeous. I have a little bit more of that Dark Skies black shade, and I'm just going to Tuck that here and then just blend that into that shimmer. On the outer part, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I'm seeing like this kind of a gold black shift right there. So pretty. For the inner corner, we're just going to go back into Aurora Australia's. I have used this a lot with some of the looks that I've done, but really it's like the brightest shade in the palette. So it's the one that works the best for inner corner highlights. I was about to use this brush, but no, that is the wrong one. That is way too big. Let me go with this flat brush. It's really a lip brush that came in that AOA Studio Rainbow set, but it'll work for the inner corner. So I've got just a little bit on the brush, and we're just going to tap it. My word, that is just the shiniest shade. I have really, really been enjoying these multi-chromes in this palette. I'm going to go off camera, finish off the rest of my look, and then we'll come back and we'll talk some more about this palette and just kind of give you my final impression thoughts now that I've had a chance to use it some more and do some more looks. Before I give my final thoughts on the palette, let me tell you guys what I used to finish off this look for my wing. I'm just using, once again, my NYX Epic Ink Liner in Black. My water line, this is from Davis. It is the Waterproof Protection Lip and Eyeliner pencil. The shade is in Germany style. It's a really pretty metallic blue. I don't know. I just wanted to kind of put a pop of blue in my waterline to kind of go with this look. It also kind of brings out the blue in my shirt. My lashes are from Timu. I have no idea what the actual style is, but as you can see, they're short in the middle. They're flared on the outside, which is the type of lash that I like to go for. I think it looks pretty with this look. My lips are a combination of the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Bumble and then the All Over Lip Color. This is Sandy. This is a very soft Soft pink. It's part of that Grease Revolution collection. I kind of wanted a softer lip to go with this more intense eye, but let's talk about this palette. You guys, this palette, I have to say, this is the first one since I first discovered Nomad, one of the first ones that I can say I have absolutely nothing negative to say about the palette. I have done so many looks with this palette. I think I've used every single matte, I've used every single shimmer, and every single shade, every formula performed beautifully for me. As we all know, you know, you may have a palette that, you know, most of the shades work, there may be one shade that's kind of iffy, but this palette, you guys, everything about it performed beautifully for me. I am absolutely in love. I will definitely be pulling this palette out a lot. The mattes, beautiful, buttery, blended out like a dream. These multi-chromes, wet, shimmery, glossy. Yeah, I am in love with this palette. I love this palette. I have absolutely nothing negative to say with this about this palette. I'm, I'm in love. That is going to be it for this Two Looks video. I I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. It really does help with getting my videos into recommendations. If you're new to the channel and you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you would consider joining my little family and hitting subscribe. Make sure you tap the bell so you don't miss a thing. You can also follow me on my other socials. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.